We spend so much time at work. We typically spend more time at work or doing work than we spend with our family and friends and loved ones. So just the sheer amount of time that our, our brains are engaging with material related to work means that that stuff is gonna show up in our dreams. Um, dreams are more symbolic and less literal. It's more about themes. Uh, and so work can also just be something that shows up in our dreams, not necessarily because it's specifically about work but because the way work is making us feel or behave is significant to us and so it's going to show up we have this loving term here in the newsroom that we call we, whenever we dream about work we call it a newsmare um, <laughs> I know I whenever that. yeah I know whenever I have a newsmare it's usually deadline related like I'm missing a deadline and so I completely understand where that's coming from but how do people analyze their dreams? Let's say they wake up, they just had this horrible dream about work. How do they really start to break that down for themselves? Sometimes they're, they're really literal, like you mentioned, where we miss a deadline and perhaps we have a deadline coming up or perhaps we've already missed a deadline and we're still feeling terrible about it. But oftentimes they're less literal than that. So looking for themes or symbolism, it's what's really important, is the overarching theme one of vulnerability is it one of shame? Is it one of disappointing someone or angering someone else? Looking for themes is, is really where it's at in terms of analyzing dreams. And, and also, while, while that can be a helpful and useful thing to do in terms of analyzing your dreams, I also want to just say that don't take dreams too seriously either. Um, they're, they're a mishmash of everything that we've experienced throughout the day. And, and it's not literal and it's thrown together in some crazy way that our brain does when we're sleeping. So while it can be helpful to analyze them, don't get sucked in too much to a nightmare or a bad dream. Um, try to pull yourself out of it and ground yourself in the now. So missing that deadline could actually be a little bit deeper than fear of missing a deadline. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Uh, right now, we are all really prone to anxiety dreams because there is so much to be anxious about between COVID and racial unrest and inequality and this upcoming election and winter and school and, and, and. There's just so much anxiety that we're all managing right now. And so it is going to manifest in our dreams. And so that just anxious component is important to just recognize and normalize, right? That there's, there's a lot going on right now. In reading your bio, I, I was reading that worries at work can actually also trigger something from the past, maybe some trauma you had even in your childhood. Yes, absolutely. So work dynamics have a lot of the similar setups and potentially the same dynamics as family of origin, right? We've got the people who are in charge. We've got the people who are lower on the totem pole that have to just kind of go along with what the boss says. All of that can be reminiscent of our family of origin, the family that we grew up in. And if that went well, that's great. But if that didn't go so well, um, then we might be especially triggered if we feel like our boss is upset with us or mad at us, or if we have to engage in conflict at work, or if we're really worried about what people think of us because of something that happened to our past. So, you know, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, uh, and work is absolutely stressful and other times whatever happened at work can be more reflective of something we experienced a long time ago that's being triggered in the now. So now that we're armed with all this information about where dreams can come from, how do we go about addressing these dreams or even just that work-related stress? Our dreams are a window into our unconscious, right? It's, uh, it's things that happen to us during the day that maybe we think about, but maybe we don't. And so it just kind of gets filed away. And so using dreams to really think about the themes and the dynamics showing up can help us understand where we are emotionally with things. It can be serve as a reminder that whatever happened between you and your boss is still bothering you and maybe you need to readdress it. It can be a wake up call to, I'm really way more anxious than I thought I was. Maybe I need to start taking better care of ourselves. So if we use our dreams as data to better understand where we're at emotionally, what we're thinking about, what matters to us, what makes us worried, that can be really helpful because once we have that information, then we can actually do something about it, which is a pretty cool place to be.